The freedom of discussion and debate, the freedom to speak and to listen on a college campus, is in fact only an exercising of the constitutional freedom of speech guaranteed to every citizen in the First Amendment. The ethic of the college or university, however, when it operates on this plane in its pursuit of truth, requires the impartiality and neutrality of a free and open campus which permits all voices an equal opportunity to speak and to be heard. As members of the academic community, I think we must continue in our efforts to ensure a balanced presentation of divergent opinions on the controversial and value-laden issues of our time. In the early years of the 1970s, the maintaining of a free and open campus will perhaps be the first imperative of this university community. For if public opinion polls are accurately reflecting the depth and extent of student concern about our national purposes and priorities, then the university campus must surely be a place where students can fully and freely discuss and debate the great issues of our day. If Iowa State is to be a free and open campus, it must have clearly defined rules and regulations against disruption and violence with appropriate accompanying penalties. And let there be no mistake about it. The fair and reasonable uniform rules of personal conduct recently adopted by the State Board of Regents for the Regents institutions will, within a well-developed and equitable procedural system, be fairly and forthrightly enforced on this campus. I do not believe, however, that the conscientious enforcement of codes of conduct alone is an all-inclusive, easy answer guaranteed to ensure a tranquil and peaceful campus. Moreover, I reject the notion that the university's responsibility to students who are reasonably and legitimately troubled about the great human problems we are all facing ends with the maintenance of a peaceful and tranquil campus. The kind of open campus of which I speak is an open academic community, a community which, although it works within the framework of understood rules and regulations, operates on a basis of open communication whose members have confidence in each other and a will to make the academic community work. 